determine whether the sequence is bounded. So we're going to do this uh, in a little bit of a different way. So let's start first um, by writing it like this. So n over e to the n. And now we're actually going to take the limit. Let's just make an observation. So if we take the limit as n goes to infinity of n over e to the n, well, we have the case where it's infinity over infinity. So you could use L'Hopital's, or you could just say it's zero because e to the n grows faster um, than n, right? So you, you could just um, say it's zero, but let's use L'Hopital's. And remember, when you're using L'Hopital's uh, with sequences, in your mind, you want to pretend they're x values, okay? So just make sure it works when they're x values. And it does, right? If this was x and this was e to the x, we would take the derivative, we would get one. We would take the derivative, we would get e to the x, except we'll write e to the n. Now it's a little more clear um, that this limit is zero. So you might say, why do we take the limit? You know, it's asking if it's bounded. Well, whenever you take the limit, if the limit exists, which it does, right? So in this case, the sequence converges. So a sub n converges. Something magical happens. Whenever you have a convergent sequence, it's always bounded. So thus, a sub n is bounded. Right? So we've shown that it is bounded. So if you're ever trying to show that something is bounded, you can just take the limit. And if you get a number, like if, if it converges, if your sequence converges, it's bounded. So converges, it's bounded. Converges, it's bounded. This is a very powerful and common strategy, right? It's easier to look at this and say, oh yeah, the limit exists, therefore it's bounded. Uh, is this a proof? I, I don't know. The question didn't ask for a proof. It just asked us to um, you know, determine if it's bounded. So the easiest way to do it is to look at it and say, hey, yeah, this converges to zero, so it's totally bounded. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.